Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Physics 121 concept session on calculating an average acceleration. My name is Nathan Martin, and I work for the tutoring centers at ASU. So in this problem, we're given at t is equal to one second, the car is moving at three meters per second. At t is equal to four seconds, the car is moving at seven meters per second. What is the average acceleration from one to four seconds? So before we get started, let's figure out that uh, average acceleration equation, right? So the average acceleration, I'm gonna label it A sub AVG for average acceleration. This is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time. Right, because acceleration is just the rate of change of the velocity with respect to time, right? So, delta V, that's the final velocity minus the initial velocity, right? Likewise, that's the final time subtracted from the initial time. So, let's kind of look at the scenario. So, at the first position, At t is equal to one second, so that'll be this point, t is equal to one second, our velocity is three meters per second. So this would be your time, this would be your velocity, right? First position. And then at the second position, or the final position, we know that it's moving in four seconds, it's traveled um, not travel, it's going now seven meters per second. So that's to our time and velocity. So if we use this handy formula, the average velocity, I'm sorry, the average acceleration is equal to the change in velocity. So the final velocity being seven minus the initial velocity being three divided by the final time being four, minus the initial time being one. So this is equal to four thirds, which is about 1.3 meters per second squared. Awesome, and to kind of double check those units real quick, which is a very important skill throughout this class. Um, we know that the uh, change in velocity, right? This has units of meters per second, right? Velocity is a rate of change of displacement with respect to time. And then we know the change in time has units of seconds. So if you were to divide these two, meters per second divided by seconds, that is equal to meters per second squared, which is in fact the units of an acceleration. Awesome, so let's clear that up and talk about some tutoring. So if you want more information on tutoring services, such as hours of operation, any review sessions we're holding, all that good stuff, visit our website at visit our website at tutoring.asu.edu. And then if you have any questions or redo, Hello everyone and welcome to the Physics 121 concept session on calculating an average acceleration. My name is Nathan Martin and I work for the tutoring centers at ASU. So 
this problem, we're given at t is equal to one second, the car is moving at three meters per second. At t is equal to four seconds, the car is moving at seven meters per second. What is the average acceleration from one to four seconds? So before we kind of get started, I just want to kind of just draw out this scenario real quick. So our final, not final, we're starting, right? So our initial, our initial point, we know that the time is one second and we're traveling at three meters per second. So this is my T and this is my velocity. Now at another final position, we know that we've traveled four seconds and we're traveling at seven meters per second. So again, a time and a velocity. So if we wanna calculate the average acceleration, I'm gonna label it A sub AVG for average acceleration. This is just equal to the change in velocity over the change in time, right? Acceleration, all it is, is just your rate of change of your velocity with respect to time. In other words, dv over dt. Now the change in velocity, that is just defined as the final velocity minus the initial velocity over delta t, which is your final time, subtracted from your, not t, from your initial time, right? So plugging in this good stuff in, the final velocity we know is seven meters per second, the initial velocity being three, the final time being four seconds, subtracted from the initial time being one second. So seven minus three, that's four, four minus one, that's three. So your average velocity, I'm sorry, your average, not velocity, we're finding acceleration, right? The average acceleration is about 1.3 meters per second squared. And let's do a quick check on units. Uh, units are extremely important in this class. If you're messing up the units, then um, you're messing up the entire problem, right? So let's just confirm our units are correct. So I know that the units of velocity, right? A velocity is a rate of change of displacement with respect to time, right? So that has units of meters per second. Delta T, so a change in time, that has units of seconds, right? So if I were to divide these two quantities, meters per second divided by seconds, this is meters per second times one over second, and thus meters per second squared. So that does in fact check out. So our units are right. Cool, uh, let's clear that up and talk about some tutoring services. So if you want more information on tutoring, such as our hours of operation, locations, and any upcoming review sessions, all that good stuff, visit our website at tutoring.asu.edu. And then if you wanna continue watching more of these concept videos, visit this link, tutoring.asu.edu slash student services slash reviews. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.